Hey guys, you 2 here, and today we'll be looking at my top three favorite gas masks. So here we are looking at the classic Russian GP5. This is the exact gas mask that I used in my profile picture from my YouTube channel here. Um, this is almost because it's a classic. It's probably one of the most iconic looking gas mask gas masks you'll find. It's also like my first gas mask I ever got was one of these. Um, a word of warning that you do not you want to watch out for the older filters. I'm not sure the exact date, but um, the older ones contain asbestos. You know, I'm going to have to research the uh, date, but I'll put the date here. Um, so, just watch out for the asbestos in some of them. So here it is with me on it. Most iconic looking gas mask out there. Russian GP5. Here is the Finnish M61, a very comfortable mask. Um, this does look like the mask from uh, Team Fortress 2 that the Pyro wears, his default mask. I didn't pay that much for it, and it's a very comfortable mask. Uh, beware though, the uh, filters are known to contain chromium. So here it is with, me, with it on. My hair's a little crazy right now, I gotta get my hair cut. But I did test this gas mask uh, by inhaling nitrogen dioxide by in an event of a chemical malfunction when I was doing a chemistry experiment. So I really did test this gas mask. Finally, we have the German Draeger, a very comfortable mask with a uh, cord on the bottom here for it to hang off your neck if you're not wearing it. Um, there's, not, there's not that much to say about it considering uh, that it doesn't really contain anything harmful and it's filter. So here's me wearing it. So now I'm going to talk about um, why I did this video and the other masks that I have. So I did this video because my profile picture was a gas mask and I'm pretty sure some people expected me to have like a video on it or two about gas masks. But I never really thought that anybody would really like them so I'm, this is just going to be interesting to see how this video does. Um, and if you guys like this video let me know in the comments below. Um, Another reason, and also on the topic of the other gas masks that I own, um, I own a po I own a Polish gas mask, the one with the tube that goes to the more like boxy filter that is supposed to go into the pouch. It's supposed to go into a, like one of those pouches with the filter, the square filter. Um, I also have uh, mul multiple more GP5s. I have a Chizek M10. Uh, but I don't wear that one because it has an odd smell to it that might be a rubber preservative. And I can't stand the smell of it. So I rarely wear it. And I have washed all of my gas masks to date. I also have two. Um, I don't remember what country they're from. But I'll put a photo of them here. And I also have two chemical suits. I have a DuPont Tech Chem uh, QC and F. One is more for biological, and then the, uh, the other one is more for, is for chemical, uh, chemical weapons, and I believe you can use it for nuclear. Now, it's not, n neither of them are fireproof. I'm looking to get one of those ones that are actually, like, sort of fireproof. And then, the, but the rate, the best, it's the best, but it's cut, it's about $100 for it. But the F was, like, $30 I paid. I have to get a new one due to the fact that my zipper broke on mine when we trying it on once. But, uh, yeah. And another question most people are going to ask me, which gas mask do I recommend for, uh, let's say, a disaster? For a disaster, 
Um, I'm going to say the Israeli civilian uh, gas masks or Draeger. Partially I'm saying the uh, or um, the uh, Israeli military one that looks like a Draeger. But the, the reason why I'm saying that is because you can get a hold of vacuum sealed filters. That I mean the vacuum sealed foil wrapped um, filters for them which I don't have right now. I don't have Israeli, not yet. But it also has the drinking tube port and I know a couple of websites where you can get like battery operated um, uh, breathing, uh, I don't know, what the, breathing support and stuff like that. You can also get the drinking tubes and buy bulk amounts of them and they're probably one of the most latest released gas masks. Now I know you can get other brands like they're not really military surplus, they're more of uh, you buy, you buy them for like in manufacturing and stuff and they can get pretty expensive. I've seen good ones that go for like a couple hundred dollars. Now I don't have any of them nor do I ever plan on buying one. Um, I'm just sticking to these because they're relatively cheap. Um, this one I pay, believe I paid 30 for, uh, 30 US dollars and then I paid 15 for the M61 and I'm pretty sure I paid like 30 for the GP5 even though I'm pretty sure I've got have more of them I got for a lot cheaper because they're very popular uh, I am looking into a GP7 sorry about the firecrackers people are saying off fire, uh, fireworks for the 4th of July in my uh, neighborhood so I'm going to end this video here so thanks for watching don't forget to like, subscribe, share and I'll see you guys next time